Hey guys, here's a new video um, of my Traxxas uh, UDR conversion to a side-by-side uh, -side Kawasaki KRX 1000 Terex. Um, I shot a video a minute ago and somehow it didn't work, so I'm going to try again. I don't know why I didn't save it. But anyway, um, I've got a few fasteners holding all the body panels on. It's not clear-coated yet. Uh, I have, nothing's really like fastened down really good. i got just enough volts to hold it together to make sure that all the parts fit together really well. The fenders, the hood, the um, the roof... Um, the color is looking perfect, exactly what I wanted. And right now, basically what you're looking at is a finished product. I just have to add the door decals, which are going to be like this, or one of these, something like that. i got to get the door decals, which I produced myself in CAD. It's taken a lot of time to get them right. I'm waiting on more paper because I goofed up. So the door decals need to be finished. Once those are finished, I can uh, clear coat all of that. The roof needs to be clear coated, the hood. Uh, let's see, everything else... I'm going to flatten. I'm going to do a flat finish on this texturized um, black finish, so all the black parts are going to have a textured finish to them. So that way, it's, it's realistic. Like the, the box and the fenders are going to look, you know, like a little bumpy, kind of like the plastic as, as they designed it from you know on there, and they leave it a flat plastic. They don't really paint it. So I'm just checking fit and finish right now to make sure everything fits together real well. And so far, everything's fitting together like a glove. But I wanted to get a quick video out there of this uh, project to show you guys what can happen if you uh, cut the whole back end off of a uh, UDR and you want to make it a side-by-side. -side, you just have to spend hours and hours in front of a computer and then spend more hours and hours designing decals. And then you have to spend more hours um, painting. I don't know if I've already said that. No, I didn't say that. Modeling, uh, 3D printing takes forever. All this stuff had to be sanded smooth. All the lines of resolution had to be sanded out of it to get this finish. So once the clear coat's on it, you won't see any lines. Like on the back, that bottom side of this piece, you can see the the lines, the grain of the, because um, it's an FDM, it's a filament-style printer, which leaves a lot of lines in the print. So to get rid of it, you have to sand, fill, and uh, you know primer it and sand that out. So once that's done, then you start hitting it with a lot of primer, sand it out, and you keep getting it until it's finished. And then now I've got the decals that I uh, designed, and uh, it's a water slide transfer that you can get for laser printers to get the actual graphics to be right. So I had to go on the computer and look at the actual vehicle and try to mimic in CAD right down to the Kawasaki logo. I had to draw that so I could, uh, you know, have it with the white with the black background. Some of these, uh, you know, these graphics here you're not going to find anywhere. You have to basically look at the vi uh, look at the uh, pictures, sit in front of a computer and draw them out. And I don't use a, gra a graphics program. I'm used AutoCAD 2000 for the graphics and I use SolidWorks for the design. So right now basically this is what she's going to look like as a side-by-side -side, and I can't wait to run it and hopefully the next video I'll get this thing actually um, once it's cleared, finished, videoed, we'll have it in the dirt and we'll, we'll get it running and we'll see how this thing turns out. But so far I think it looks pretty good. I uh, apologize for the bad camera work. It's just a handheld camera with no screen on it. Uh, I'm not good at editing either so it's always a one-take thing for me. Well, hopefully you enjoy this project. It's taken me a lot of time, a lot, a lot, a lot of weeks, lots of weeks, and I'm still not done. So this finish here will be much glossier in the green, and the black will be a flat finish. Um, it just it'll still be uh, clear coated, but it'll be more of a matte finish on the black to give it the more realistic uh, appearance of the actual vehicle. So anyway, hope you guys like it. I just threw it together real quick. I got to take it all back apart and start clear coating. Thanks. See you next time.